representative of the State of Palestine. Members of the Diplomatic Corps are representatives of international organizations. Good afternoon. On behalf of Her Excellency, Dr. Nkosa Zana Dilamene Zuma, the chairperson of the African Union Commission, would want to thank the organizers of this very important conference on the question of Palestine. We also thank the Republic of Senegal for hosting this very important event. As you may be aware, the Organization of African Unity, now the African Union, is founded on solid principles of decolonization, liberation, and providing solidarity in support of national and international struggles against all forms of human rights violations and other forms of oppression across the globe. The African Union follows closely the development in Palestine and the Middle East region within the framework of solidarity between Africa and the Arab world. The African Union has formidable legal systems that promote and protect the rights of African peoples and even beyond. It was in the context of the foregoing that Article 2, Subsection 1, D and E of the Charter of the Organization of African Unity in 1963 provided that the purpose of the then OAU was to eradicate all forms of colonialism from the continent of Africa and to promote international cooperation, having due regard to the Charter of the United Nations and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. The provision cited above was also carried over to the African Union Constitutive Act of 2000, precisely Article 3, which stipulates uh, that one of the core objectives of the African Union would be to encourage international cooperation, taking due account of the Charter of the United Nations and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Simply put, the legal basis for the African Union intervention on legitimate resilience, protection of human and people's rights, and socioeconomic and political transformation is anchored on the earlier reference provisions in the OAU Charter and the Constitutive Act, respectively. As you may be aware, the African Union has been playing an important role on the question of peace, promotion, and protection of human rights and human development. Prior to its observer status, the state of Palestine and the UN, um, by the UN General Assembly, the African Union has over the years also given prominent attention to the social, political, and economic situations in Palestine. Consequently, the president of the state of Palestine is among the few guest speakers officially recognized to address each and every African Union Summit. The African Union is also saddled with the responsibility to constantly monitor and prepare a comprehensive report on the state of Palestine, particularly on the issue of human rights in Palestine for the considerations of the African Union policy-making organs during every summit. The report usually highlights the following issues, the political and peace processes, the situation of the city of Jerusalem, the Upper Side Wall and colonial settlements, the situation of the Palestinian prisoners, and the conditions in the occupied territories. Consequent to the report, a decision is made which is always followed by a strong declaration. The African Union, in conjunction with the United Nations and other international organizations and the civil society organizations, continues to engage in international advocacy to promote and protect the rights of the Palestinian people. In conclusion, the African Union calls for immediate resumption of the peace talks between the Palestine, between Palestine and Israel and reaffirms its, uh, its support for a peaceful solution of the Arab-Israeli conflicts on the basis of the two-state solution in conformity with the principles of international law and all the relevant UN resolutions with an emphasis on the establishment of an independent Palestinian state existing on the border of the 4th of June 1967 with East Jerusalem, al Odis Sharif, as its capital. The African Union continued to collaborate with the United Nations in ensuring that international human rights and the international humanitarian laws are protected and promoted in Palestine, the Middle East, and the entire world. I thank you. I thank the representative of the African Union. I had not really read out my list properly. The last speaker is the ambassador of South Africa. You have the floor. 